So in today's video, we're just gonna ramble. Um, I pulled up a list from Grammarly about the 25 cool words to know in English. And I'm like, okay, I wanted to do mouth sounds or some trigger words. Might as well use 25 cool words instead of just random, probably pl uh, peasant words that I would come up with. All right. So just sit back, relax. I'm just gonna be kind of whispering. Maybe I'll break into soft spoken, I don't know yet. But I got 25 cool words that we're gonna go through, okay? And I need you guys to let me know in the comments below which word you think sounded the best phonetically. Word number one is abracadabra. Abra. Meaning a command or incantation that is spoken by magicians to enact a magic trick. Abra Kadabra. Abra Kadabra. <laughs> that's how that's how they have the syllable spaced out like that. Abra Kadabra. Number number two is a muck. A muck. A muck. A-M-O-K, amok, meaning a violent and uncontrolled frenzy, amok, the dogs ran amok all over the house, amok, splattering the carpet and sofa with mud, amok, 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 next one, anemone, I think I, Hopefully I said that right. Anemone. 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 Yeah, I did. Anemone. A genius of perennials with attractive flowers in the buttercup family of plants. A gene. A genus of per perennials with attractive flowers in a buttercup family of plants. I'd be lying if I told you I 100% understood what that meant. Anemone, 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 anemone. Number four, brouhaha, brouhaha, shark bait, brouhaha. A commotion or uproar is its definition, brouhaha. The latest company announcement stirred a brouhaha among the members of the team. Brouhaha, 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 brouhaha. Number five, Calopee, 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 Calopee. scar I went to a concert and I got kicked in the face knocked my glasses off gotta be gotta be gotta be I'm all good though gotta be 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 it was from crowd surfing and you know I'm I'm a taller person so when a body comes flying in behind you and just hits me in the head that's the only part that they'll hit because it's sticking out above everyone else Calopee, 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 meaning the Greek muse of epic poetry. It can also describe an organ-like musical instrument. Calopee, Calopee. It's as if Calopee herself guided my hand as I wrote. Calopee. Clandestine, clandestine, or clandestine. No, I think it's clandestine. Clandestine, 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 meaning something conducted in secret, clandestine, clandestine, the ancient books revealed the existence of a clandestine society with mystical powers, clandestine. 
that word doesn't really sound that cool to me, clandestine. Number seven. Number seven, number seven, number seven. Number seven. Doppelganger. Doppel. Doppel, 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 doppel. Doppelganger. 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 Doppel, doppel, ganger, ganger. Doppelganger. Meaning a double of a person having a keen resemblance between two otherwise unrelated persons. Doppelganger. And guess what? I'll give you a real example. To, to this day, I firmly believe my doppelganger is in Germany. We had a foreign exchange student back in high school, like 11, 12 years, no, yeah, 11 years ago now. I think it was a sophomore, so it'd be like 13 years ago now. Uh, we had a German foreign exchange student, right? And she brought she brought this fat binder with her of pictures and everything from her homeland in Germany and like her school, her friends and everything. And she opens up a page and she's sitting at our lunch table and she goes, this is like the group of friends I uh, typically hang out with and I'll tell you their names. I don't remember what she said for their names, but she opened it and I'm looking at the pictures and I swear to you, I swear to you. I saw myself in high school. I was a, I don't want to say an emo boy, but uh, like a skater boy. Like that's kind of the look I went for. I had the longer hair flip, you know, and the guy in the picture had the same haircut was wearing almost the identical clothing that I was wearing or have worn previously. And his like whole face shape and the way he looked was it was outer worldish how similar we looked and from that moment on i was like that is my doppelganger i I've, I've yet to still find somebody who remotely looks like me as much as that person does from germany so maybe you're watching this random german homie uh shout out to you me and you are doppelgangers number eight number eight Earwig, earwig, earwig. Wait, is that what I'm doing right now? Meaning, to whisper in someone's, to whisper in someone's ear, as a means to persuade or irritate them. Okay, well, hopefully I'm not earwigging you. I don't want to irritate you. I don't even know if earwigging is a word, but earwig. Earwig. It is a verb, so I guess. <laughs> earwig. I hate, I hate that word. I will be honest. I do not like that word, earwig. Especially because it reminds me of those bugs that we get here in the Midwest. They got like little pincers on their tails. They kind of look like roaches. They're disgusting. Number nine. Number, number nine. Euphoria. Euphoria, 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 an intense feeling of elation, excitement, or pleasure, euphoria, and it's also a TV show. The example they give, her euphoria after being accepted into medical school was so great that she couldn't sit still. Euphoria, that's a pretty good show on HBO if you haven't seen it. Very heavy though, so like if you want like a heavy drama, I would say watch Euphoria. But it, yeah. <laughs> Number ten, fisticuffs, fisticuffs, meaning a physical fight or altercation using fists, fisticuffs. The verbal argument escalated to fisticuffs as passerby recorded the confrontation. Fisticuffs. All right, so that's the first 10. Let me go through them again, and we'll kind of decide which ones you think sound best for ASMR um, word triggers. We got number one, 
abracadabra. Number two, amok. So number one, abracadabra. And two is amok. Amok, amok. See, I like the hard K of amok. Amok, 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 amok. But abracadabra. Abracadabra. Has a good amount of syllables to it, so I'm going to give the edge to abracadabra. Between that and amok, amok. Abracadabra wins for me. And then three and four. And then three and four. We have anemone and brouhaha. I'm already giving that to brouhaha. I want to add brouhaha into my normal vocabulary of like talking to people. Oh man, that was a huge brouhaha at work. That just sounds like a... It just sounds like a cool word, to be honest. So out of anemone and brouhaha, I'm going to go with brouhaha. Number five and six. Five was gallopy, 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 gallopy. And six was clandestine, 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 clandestine. I think they're... Sounds good for that word, but galopy, 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 galopy just, galopy just sounds nice. Like that's really all it comes down to. It just sounds nice. Galopy, galopy, galopy. Clandestine. I'm gonna give it to galopy over clandestine. All right. So for seven and eight, we got doppelganger. easy. Number nine and ten. Euphoria and fisticuffs. Euphoria. 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 And fisticuffs. 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 Euphoria. These are close in your car and making the horn go off between euphoria and fisticuffs fisticuffs win that's i'm gonna end it here for this one i'll probably make a part two if this one does good enough and we'll go through the latter half of the list um but once again we'll just go through let me know which one you guys or what words out of the ones that we used today sound the best for asmr do you think Abracadabra, amok, anemone, brouhaha, calopy, clandestine, doppelganger, earwig, euphoria, and fisticuffs. If any of you say earwig, I don't even know. That's a disturbing word. But anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. I want to give a shout out to my fast and aggressive ASMR video. We hit over a thousand views. What? A thousand views on a video of mine. I'm literally mind blown. And to be honest, I didn't think that would be the one that got a thousand views. But I should study that video and see what was so good about it. Was it the thumbnail? Was it the content of the video? Is it just the fast and aggressiveness that a lot of people enjoy? I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for the support on my videos. It means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tinkle Shop out. <laughs>